Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. Today we are talking bags. Uh, I love bags, I love reviewing them. I especially love this one. So you want to know what bag it is and what my opinions are? Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So I do have a new bag for you. It is the Sling Style Variety, uh, which has actually become very uh, easy for me to incorporate into my system. And I like it because a larger bag, I have a better tendency of leaving behind if it's just a quick trip. Um, and I weigh it down and it gets heavy. Like larger bags are great, um, but if I'm gonna leave a bag, it's gonna be a larger bag. Um, and when I go just with what I have on my person, I always feel like I'm short items that I need if I'm out and about. And like the sling style that I can wear all the time, sitting in the car, sitting at a restaurant, like the ones that are so small and they fit so well on you that you don't have to take them off to do things. So for me, I go to the door, I sling this on and I walk out the door and I sit in the car with it. I get up, I walk around with it. I go in a store with it. I sit down at the restaurant with it. Like it's on. And then when I come home and come back in the door, I take it off and I place it on the hook by the door, ready for next time. So for me, that's become practical. Like it's easy and it's practical for me to, to have with me. And it's so lightweight and small and not noticeable that I take it every time. Every time I walk out my door, if we're not going to play in the yard or like neighborhood walk, like every time I'm leaving to get in my car and go somewhere, this thing is put on me when I leave the door and there it stays till I come home. And that's what I need. I need an EDC that is with me. Uh, if it's my everyday carry that's in my bag by the door ready to go, but sometimes the bag gets, home, gets left home because it's too big or cumbersome or whatever, then is it really an everyday carry? No. This is an everyday carry because when I leave the house, it's with me. So it truly encompasses the EDC style. And this is the Tom Talk. It is a sling bag, uh, small in size, small in thickness, and I mean, just simple and easy. And now this does have, while we're on the outside of it, it does have a different style setup. So it has one that is here on the end and one that's actually on the top. And so when you're carrying this on your right side, it actually sits perfectly level. Now, when you sling it around to the back, it causes it to sit not vertical, but pretty close. So if I'm, I've found I can easily switch this. So if I just want it on my side and uh, let's see here. Yeah, if I just want it on my side, I can carry it like this. And if I want it on my back, I will actually switch it to the other side. And now it's carried fairly level on my back, but on the side, it sits kind of cockeyed. So I really enjoy this bag for that reason. It's a sling bag that's easily switchable to whichever side, and I can comfortably carry it right here, which is something most sling bags don't do. They sit kind of awkward. So it really utilizes itself to disappearing when you're wearing it. Um, now I got mine in the olive combination. So this is like an olive green, the straps olive green, the uh, little uh, webbing on the sides olive green. And then the rest of this is like a, like a tan, like a khaki color. The back is, and this bottom part all the way around. And then the zippers are olive green everywhere, even on the back. So a uh, super nice coloration, little contrast on here so you can see it, but uh, they didn't put this in black, which I actually like because it doesn't ping. Like it's there, but it's kind of subtle. Um, so I really dig that. Uh, the webbing on this side, I have nothing, but on this side, I clipped a little rectangular carabiner, put a little magnetic attachment for my key and a little hand sanitizer. And as far as the outside of the bag goes, that's it. That's all I did. And uh, depending upon which way I'm carrying this bag, whether I'm carrying it on my right side or my left, I will unclip this carabiner and clip it to the other side, uh, whichever side leaves it towards the front so I can quickly grab these. So excellent. I love the dual color here. I love the coloration. I love the dual color. I 
I love the looks. I love the looks of this bag. And I didn't think I was gonna like this strap. Like this strap is the reason it took me so long to order this, but I actually love it. Like it's it's ingenious. It, it works wonderfully for what it for what it does. So this bag has a front zipper, a little like slash pocket, has the main zipper, and then it has a little back zipper. That's kind of your secret zipper, stays up against you, harder to get to. So we'll go through the bag front, middle, and back. Starting out at the front of this, uh, I've just got a bunch of stuff jammed in here. I have some wet ones. I have attached to the keeper here, which I really like this. That's a very long keeper. And uh, attached to that, I just have my uh, MVP cards for the grocery stores that we frequent. Inside of here, I have the uh, goodies powder for the headaches that pop up. I have a little mini Bic lighter. I have my standard breath strips. I have some nail clippers and some chapstick because it is that time of year where chapstick is definitely a must for me. And so in here, uh, you actually have, there we go, you have a bit of organization. So you have just like the whole big empty area, but then you also actually have two slash pockets right here and here. So it allows you to, you can see the, the lining of them right there, but it allows you to organize your gear in here. And I love it, like it works well. So for me, my, uh, my kind of like um, comfort items, my uh, breath strips, the uh, chapstick, and the fingernail clippers all sit in one side. The mini Bic is in the other, so if I need it, I know where it is. And then the wet ones and the goodies just sit in the front. So all my stuff is stashed away and I know right where it's at. And then I just kind of drop this in the front of that pocket as well. And I'm ready to rock and roll. I got all my things quick access right there, no problem. And then we got this middle compartment here. And so inside of here, I have the essential items. I have one diaper and one pack of wipes. And uh, I love that this bag has the volume to hold these two things right here. So key when you have a little one with you. And then uh, in here, I actually have another pair of nail clippers. I didn't realize that I'd put my nail clippers in the front. I thought they were in this compartment and yesterday I went looking for them. And so I added another pair. So. This one is probably, I'm probably gonna keep one in the main portion of the bag, cause that's where I looked for them. And I'll probably get rid of the front one, which I'll actually do that right now. Uh, cause I didn't know they were in there. So inside of here, we have some organization as well. So it's a black interior, which I love a high vis interior. Give me a high vis interior all day long. But so uh, here, clipped into this, this uh, one of these sleeves here is a flashlight. It was clipped right here in the webbing. So uh, in this bag, you got the big open area up here, which is where my diapers and wipes slide right in there. Take up, take up very little weight. They add a little bulk, but nothing bad. And then sitting below those are my pen and my Milwaukee blue permanent marker. So those sit right down there. And then back here, you have two mesh sleeves you can kind of see that they're mesh. In one, I have my first aid pocket, and in the other, this was where my flashlight was clipped. And then you have a big back sleeve right there that falls open. And so in here, in the big back sleeve, I have some lotion, it is that time of year. And then I've got the little boo-boo pouch that has some Benadryl, some goodies, some alcohol wipes, and some Band-Aids of various sizes. I have some Pepto Kids. I got some acetaminophen for kids. And uh, that is it. And then clipped into the onto the other side, I have the Civivi button push, uh, Civivi Elementum button press. And that takes care of this bag, guys. But uh, it's great organization. Uh, I like that it has the three pockets. So you have the one big slash pocket in the back and then two mesh pockets on the front of that. And then the like cavernous opening that allows me to carry all of the stuff in there without noticing it. And then we have one final pocket that is up against you. And in this pocket, I have one thing and that is my wallet and it's actually in my pocket. But 
that wallet stays right there. And that's it, guys. Like, that's the bag. Uh, the light that I have is the Olight S Mini Baton. And that is in their, uh, their like, I guess, rainbowy style uh, titanium. Pretty good light there. Enjoy it. Great for the bag. But that's it. Like, this is... This is a small bag. It has the essentials, has the spare diaper and wipes that I might need, has some writing utensils, has the uh, winter preparations, which around here means that I've got some lotion and some chapstick. And uh, I've got a spare knife and flashlight if I need them. Uh, got a little boo-boo kit, the first aid kit. And I think in going through this, <clears throat> I'm gonna add some of the kid band-aids because when he gets hurt, <clears throat> A plain band-aid's not going to do it. It's got to have like Baby Shark or Spider-Man on it. So I'll add a few of those. But small bag. <clears throat> small bag. Super easy to carry and have with me. And it has things that I might need. And if you need them, really glad you have them. And if I didn't need, need them, if I didn't open up my bag while I'm out and about, it wasn't that big, so I don't mind. It wasn't a waste of time lugging around a big bag that I didn't use. So this bag, like I said, this is in the olive green uh, tan coloration, but you can also get this in black. Uh, they have a white and then they have a gray and the gray is two-toned as well. Really great bag and 40, under $40, I believe. I think it's like $38.99, $39.99. Really great price. I'll have the links below, so check those out. But uh, if you have used the Tom Talk, let me know what you think. And uh, if not, are you interested? Or what's your go-to bag? Do you have a sling bag that you love that I need to check out and review? So uh, definitely let me know what you want to see um, so I can make you more videos and get some more products out, let you know my opinions on them. But this is a winner in my book. So definitely check this bag out. This is going to be in the rotation. Um, it might even jump the VanQuest Dendrite into most used bag because this is, this is terrific. It's great. Fits well, lightweight, has a lot of gear with it, but it doesn't take up a ton of space. So let me know what you think, guys. Uh, really do enjoy the bag. Check it out. I will be back with a new video coming up, so stay tuned. And uh, remember, EDC, EDC.